What's going on everybody, this is Castle Perfect and today I'm bringing you a completely new series which is gonna be called Smash the Mason. Now this series consists of me uh, battling the Battle Mason on super singles and getting to uh, round 50 and defeating like the boss of the Battle Mason. Now I am going to be disabling the animation of all the moves until round 20 because the first 20 rounds are quite boring. They are easy and they are just a lot. They are just so time consuming. It's insane. So I think that um, to make everything a little bit more spicy, I should uh, turn on the animation when I'm at around uh, you know round 20 or something like that. Yeah, I guess that 20 should be enough. Um, other than that guys, I pretty much hope you guys enjoy because this is gonna be the first episode and hopefully we get there. Now, one little thing that I would like to tell you guys before I actually get started is that the strategy that I'm gonna be using for this um, series is gonna be brute force. There is no strategy around it. I am just going to be using the most overpowered things that I can think of uh, to defeat the Battle Mason because as we all know, the Battle Mason is the hexiest place ever created because um, the higher you get on the rounds the hexier your opponent gets and what I'm meaning by that is that your opposition usually gets like a 20 flinches in a row they freeze you on the the worst moment ever you never uh, thaw out of the frozen situation and there is always something going on that forces you to lose the game so we are at around 1 minute and 30 into this video and I haven't done anything yet so I would like to get started uh, once again like I said I am going to be using a couple of Pokemons here that you will notice uh, once I get started and I'm not gonna reveal their names and stuff just yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose super singles uh, because I like super singles and I might just do double uh, su super double battles uh, depending on how good this series actually does so if you guys want to support this series and you think this is worthy of upload remember to drop a like on this video and uh, I'll definitely make sure to bring you guys more of this um, in the uh, near future so I am choosing my team here which is gonna be consisting of three very powerful Pokemon one being a very very bulky one and the other two being complete sweepers at hyper offensive they are most likely going to do uh, some good work up in here and that's what I'm hoping so uh, we're battling schoolboy Skyler, Skyler, Skryler, I don't even know how you pronounce his name. Uh, whatever the case is going to lead off with a Sceptile, and I'm going to lead off with Ace, uh, going to be my um, freaking Darmanitan. And I'm going to start off by just going for the Flare Blitz right off the bat. He's faster. Uh, I'm not running uh, Choice Scarf on this guy, I'm running uh, Life Orb because of the Sheer Force ability. You know that pretty much negates the recoil from the Life Orb, which is absolutely fantastic. The only recoil that I'm going to be getting is the recoil that I'll get from the Flare Blitz. And apparently he's Focus Sash, which is quite uh, troublesome. So I'm just going to go for the U-turn at this point. Um, he goes for the D-Detect. Okay, so that's just pretty much time styling. I hate that. So he's going to go for the Leaf Storm. He's going to be... See, this is what I'm talking about. He gets a critical hit on that exact moment. He just absolutely needed to crit me right there. And that's the stuff that I'm talking about, ladies and gents. Battle Mason is so hexy that you just need to force your way out. So I'm going to be using a shiny Lucario, which is an absolute beast. And I'm running with Mega Stone. I'm running this guy with Mega Stone. And I'm actually going to go for the Vacuum Wave. This is a special attacker. So, so far you've seen the physical attacker of this team and the special attacker. Now you only need to see the support Pokemon, which is going to be shown at some point later on in this game. So uh, he goes for another detect and I, I hate these kind of trainers. I so hate these kind of trainers because they just want to waste your time. God damn it, come on. Are you serious? All right, so he's going to bring out Mr. Mime, which I believe is part fairy this generation. I don't know. I'm just going to go for the flash cannon here and see if I can take him out. He's going to go for the psychic. That's not going to take me out. Okay, so it's super effective. Apparently, Mr. Mime is part fairy in this generation. I didn't know that though, uh, but it looked like a fairy to me. So he's going to bring out Granbull and this thing is absolutely part fairy. So I'm just going to go for another flash cannon and pretty much defeat this first trainer. And wow, really, I'll be honest with you guys. I've battled uh, quite a lot of times in the Battle Mason and um, quite frankly, I've never like met a person or a trainer like this who loves to use detect and protect just to stall time. I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's freaking stupid. 
So, all right, so heal my Pokemon, and we just received two battle points, which is great. I'm very close to 200 battle points. I just spent 200 yesterday on a ability capsule, uh, which I'm going to be cloning at some point. Or I personally will not be cloning that item. Somebody else will be cloning it for me. Um, and uh, I just I, I think that item will come in handy at some point because don't you hate it when you get like a six IV Pokemon or a five IV Pokemon with just the wrong ability? It's it's freaking annoying. You want to change it but you can't. So that's why ability capture capture or capsule is really useful. And I just went for the U-turn. Unfortunately, I did not meant to go for the U-turn. Um, I, I wanted to go for the Flare Blitz, but um, I guess I can help it right now, can I? I'm just gonna go out into my wall, my my tank. It is gonna be the shiny Suicune, the event shiny Suicune. This guy has sheer cold, <laughs> and at some point I'll be using that. So it's gonna go for the draining kiss, which is a fairy type attack. Not really gonna do that much damage, and I'm just gonna go for the sheer cold, just see if I can actually hit it. Just okay, he avoids it, uh, goes for the confide and uh, misses. Sheer cold right there, it just hits. It's a one hit KO. And it goes down. All right, I believe you have like a 50% chance of hitting the sheer cold. It just depends, I think. Of course, the higher your level, or the higher the chances are that you hit the sheer cold. In case you didn't know that, and that counts for in-game only, or I think uh, Wi-Fi battle as well. I'm not really sure. Uh, but he's gonna roar me out after going for the fake out. That stupid Kangaskhan is gonna get it now. Uh, I'm gonna go for um, a flare blitz, which should be sufficient to take him down, I believe. Uh, Alright, so absolutely, that's great. And something that I haven't seen so far, and I'm not sure if that's even possible, um, if is uh, Mega Evolution Pokemon in the Battle Mason uh, from your opposition. Uh, I've never like faced one, I don't know if it's programmed into this game, but if it is, damn, it's gonna be a really, really hard uh, thing to deal with because I only have gotten to level to round 50 in these uh, Battle Mason Super Singles, and that's why I'm setting the goal to 50. Uh, because I haven't I have never like gone past that there is a slight chance that I might get past that in this series But I'm not sure so I just don't want to set everything too high um, uh, Too high, uh, you know like Whatever I, I just lost the word. What is it again? Uh, goal, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is um, So anyways, we're battling the third trainer right now each episode will consist of exactly 10 trainers so it will be actually a five episode um, series, if I do it right, of course, because there is this chance that I might get bitten down and then I'll have to start over again, and it can get really frustrating. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn here, uh, because Flare Blitz is not super effective, it is uh, basically resisted and uh, Rhyperia is really sturdy, so I might as well just switch out here into Suicune, which can most likely take whatever this guy is about to throw at me. That shiny Suicune is so amazing. And these dogs look pretty big on the screen, really. So it's gonna go for the Stone Edge, really not gonna do that much damage. I'm gonna fire off a Skull, which is four times super effective. And the set that I'm actually running on this Suicune is... Uh, you'll notice it. You, you'll just... You, you'll see. There is no need for me to, talk, to tell you guys what kind of sets I'm running on the Suicune, because you will see it by time as time passes. So far you have seen Sheer Cold and Scold. And I'm going to go for the Skull here on the Steelix. It's going to set up the Stealth Rocks, okay. Um, a set up Pokemon. I don't see that often in the Battle Mason, but... Um, Alright, that's fine with me. That's that's absolutely fine. I don't care. Alright. So in comes Claydol. And his entire team was weak to my Suicune, apparently. I'm just going to go for the Sheer Call because I just like that move. And I hit it. Super effective. It's a one-hit KO. <laughs> it's funny to use those one-hit KO moves um, in the Battle Mason. Uh, it's really funny. All right, just keep in mind if you're gonna do if you're gonna be doing the same thing as me uh, on the Battle Mason, if you're like are if you're inspired by this series and you want to use this Suicune like this or a Pokemon that you know can use uh, one hit KO moves, remember that Pokemon with the sturdy ability are not affected by one hit KO moves. So Pokemon's like Magnezone, uh, Forestress, I think, um, uh, Skarmory. Uh, there is a couple of Pokemons that have the ability sturdy, so you'll have to look it up if you don't know which one uh, are running sturdy. So, my opposition is going to lead off with a Poliwrath this time. And I'm just going to go for the U-turn, obviously, because um, there's not much that I can do against, against this thing. 
Poliwrath is a very, very a good Pokemon, actually. I have one trained in my PC, which I've never, ever used. I don't even know why I trained it up. I've never used it before. I should absolutely use it at some point in time. But, it's okay. I'm curious uh, as to what this Poliwrath is actually going to do. He's gonna go for the Waterfall. And the hidden ability of Suicune, which is, by the way, still not released, is Water Absorb. Can you imagine that? Water Absorb Suicune? Such a... such a penis. And I hit the Sheer Cold, I take him down, and I'm totally loving this move, man. It's so funny. Alright, so he's gonna bring out a Politoed, the two Toads. He has the two evolutions of Poliwhirl, which is funny. I'm just gonna go for another uh, Sheer Cold. He's gonna anchor me into Sheer Cold, but don't worry. I was just going to do the same thing, so... I'm just gonna go for another one. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I missed the second one, which is fine. I'm just gonna go for another Sheer Cold. Alright, I miss. He bounces up. And he's gonna drop down, possibly gonna get the power hex. Okay, so he misses his attack. You don't see that often. And this time I end up hitting the sheer goal, which is absolutely fantastic. Now the Polydot goes down, he only has one Pokemon left, which is gonna be Glacian. And this thing is pretty good on the defense side, I think. Uh, I can't quite remember. I'm actually gonna Google that. I'm gonna take a look at Mr. Glacian, which I haven't like seen in a while. Glacian. Alright, Servi Glacian. There it goes. Alright, so what kind of uh what kind of Pokemon are you, Glacian? Alright, so he has uh, yeah, I was right. He has very good defenses, 350 maximum and a 110 defense base stats. Uh, so we're gonna receive another two battle points. And we are at trainer number five, and this is gonna be a hiker. And sometimes it's funny because the text that they told you, or the, the dialogue that they use against you, or to you, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it, it's sometimes funny and sometimes very offensive. You just have to take a look at what they say. I, I usually just press through it, I don't care, uh, but it, sometimes it's funny to just take a look, really. I'm just gonna go for the U-turn here because once again it's not a very good matchup. Uh, their many then is weak to rock and ground. So, that's like the worst possible matchup right there. I'm gonna switch out into Suicune, and apparently Suicune is just stealing the, the show right now. This Pokemon is doing pretty well right now. Uh, it's gonna set up the Stealth Rocks. Apparently, um, it won some Entry Hazards damage. So, I'm just gonna go for the Scald here, which is, of course, four times super effective. And it is Stab. So, down goes the Golem. And he only has two Pokemon left. So, it's gonna bring out the Golurk. Alright, that's fine, dude. That's fine. Uh, Golurk is a pretty good Pokemon. Has very high HP and a very good uh, move pool. Not to mention it has access to the ability No Guard, just like Machamp. So it can actually dynamic punch your ass without missing. So he's gonna go for the Shadow Punch. You're really not gonna do that much damage. And you see, like I said before, the Hex, man. The Hex, I don't get a single burn all the time that I've used Scald, ever since this series started, I haven't gotten a single burn, which makes no sense. It makes no sense. Really, it, it makes no sense. So he's gonna bring out the Agron, which is gonna be his last Pokemon. Oh yeah, and Agron is another Pokemon that has the access to the ability Sturdy, so going for the Sheer Cold on that guy will absolutely uh, be ridiculous and stupid. So he's gonna roar me out into Ace, and Stealth Rocks, of course, which he set up earlier with Golem is gonna be dealing damage. But I'm gonna take care of this guy with an Earthquake. Four times super effective. And remember, sometimes these Pokemon which are four times weak to certain moves, such as Agron weak to ground by four times, they sometimes, or actually uh, quite a lot of times, and they do happen to have that, uh, that, um, that barrier that lowers, that covers just that weakness. So you can you can be in for a big surprise sometimes. So we're at number six, trainer number six. Just because they're both decided by who wins and who loses, don't like a battle. Don't don't like him. Don't like in a battle to a game. Alright, I don't understand what you're talking about, but okay. Once again, guys, if in case in case you didn't know, English is not my first language. It is not my second language. Is it is actually my third language. And uh so sometimes I just I just talk about things that makes no make no sense really. Or I might stumble upon my words. 
So I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz here on this Crafty. This Crafty is gonna go down, and it, that Pokemon kind of reminds me of uh, somebody here on YouTube, but it's okay. I'm not gonna be mentioning names here. I'm gonna open the door a little bit because I am so freaking warm in here. It's so warm in here. I'm just gonna go for the U-turn here on the Golem. And uh, really not gonna do that much damage, but if he has the Sturdy ability, that's broken, so he'll die to another to a upcoming scold from the Suicune. Alright, in comes the shiny Suicune, shining like a bright star. Shine bright like a diamond? Yes, 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 I know, Rihanna. There is no way for you to tell me. Alright, so it's gonna set up the Stealth Rock just like earlier. And uh, I'm just gonna flap with the door a little bit. You might hear a little bit of a weird sound on the background. That's because I'm flapping with the door. I need a little bit of fresh air here because it's really hot. Alright, so it's gonna bring out a Unfessant, which I myself have one, which is shiny, and it is female as well, so it's kind of funny to see this. I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam here, I'm not gonna be spamming those Sheer Cold, I really wanna get it over with. I wanna take down this bird as fast as I possibly can, and uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, Ice Beam, down goes the Unfessant, and we're done with trainer number 6, I believe. And that's it. This, this can't be. How could I be bitten at my own game? I don't know, girl. You just lost. That's what it is. Just accept the fact that you lost. But I mean, <laughs> you don't, 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 don't shame yourself because you were up against a Suicune. Those things are not easy to deal with. And at some point, if we really get to level 50, around 50, we might just face a couple of Suicunes. I've seen Entei. I've seen Entei. I've seen Landorus, Thunderous, and the... Uh, Tornadoes, I've seen heat rains. I have seen quite a lot of Pokemon, legendary Pokemon such as Moltres, Articune, and Zapdos. I've seen a lot of them, so really, it wouldn't be weird for us to stumble up uh, against a couple of those. So I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz because um, that is obviously my most powerful attack, and I do outspeed that Gardevoir. She's gonna go down. She is going to eat dirt and um, damage from the recoil. And he's gonna bring out Explode, and Explode is really good in this generation. That freaking boom burst, man. 130 base power, I think, or 140, I don't know. But it's really a powerhouse. Alright, I'm just gonna Google that. Google Explode. Cerebi Explode. Okay, let's go. Um, boom burst. It has a base 140 base power. Holy shit, that's powerful, man. That's really powerful. Alright, I'm just gonna go for another Flare Blitz here against the Gothiti. Goth Gothitili, <laughs> whatever you mean. I don't care however that Pokemon's name is pronounced because I don't get to see it that often. And it is ugly as hell. I don't like that Pokemon, really. So, we're done with uh, trainer number 7 and we receive another 2 battle points. Number 8, let's go. Like I said before, guys, if you really support this series, you should definitely drop a like on these videos because they, in fact, tell me how good a video does, really. If this video, like, reaches more than 60 or 50 likes, I'll be so damn sure to bring you guys more. I'll be so damn sure to bring you guys more. And if you want to see, like, if you want me to feature a certain Pokemon in this series that you think is overpowered, the Pokemon must be overpowered. Otherwise, I'm not using it because I am absolutely not having it on the Battle Mason. These guys love to hex me to death, so I am absolutely not having it. I am absolutely using the most overpowered things ever. So if you guys have some overpowered uh, suggestion, then by all means, drop them down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to read them. I always read my comments, though, by the way, so if you leave something nice, then I'll be so happy. Alright, so it's a Trevenant. Trevenant reminds me of another uh, YouTuber who likes Trevenant quite a lot, and he started off his YouTube career with a Trevenant. So, <laughs> really, once again, I'm not going to be mentioning names. You guys most likely know what, who I'm talking about. So, in comes a Lilligant, which is like the first time that I've ever seen this Pokemon on Battle Mason, and I am tormented. And so I'm just going to go for a U-turn instead of the Flare Blitz, because I can't use Flare Blitz right now. And even the U-turn was sufficient to take down the Lilligant. One cool thing about Lilligan, though, is that she has access to Quiver Dance, I think. And that raises your special attack, special defense, and speed by one stage. So it's actually a very good Pokemon. 
it just needs to get a chance to set up, really. That's about it. Another two battle points added to my pocket. Alright, so, trainer number nine. Let's go. It's another hiker. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm a hiker with a cult following. Okay. Let's do this, Mr. Hiker. Man, you're fat. You look like a Snorlax. Alright, Hiker Absil. He's gonna bring out Tyrantrum. See, things are actually starting to heat up right now. They are using some serious Pokemon. Tyrantrum is not a Pokemon to be dealing with or to be messing around with. So, I'm going to go for a Earthquake, which is most likely not gonna take him down, but still gonna do a sufficient amount of damage to the point where another of my Pokemons will take him down anyway. So, he's gonna go for the Double Team. Alright, that's an odd move. And, uh, you know, usually knowing my luck, I would, I would have missed my attack right there. Uh, but apparently, it didn't happen, so I'm happy. Uh, down goes the Tyrantrum, and in comes a Coracosta. Oh, Caracosta, sorry. This thing loves to shell smash on the um, Wi-Fi battle scene. So, and I think that Pokemon also has access to Sturdy. It, it's really a bad matchup at this point, so I'm actually going to go for the U-turn. Uh, it doesn't matter what it goes for, I'm switching out into Shiny Lucario. And I am absolutely taking down this guy with an Aura Sphere. I am not playing games with the Battle Mason. The Battle Mason does not play games with you, so you shouldn't play games with the Battle Mason. Smash the Mason! Alright, so he's gonna go for the Aqua Tail. Oh my god, that's gonna do so much damage. Caracosta is actually a very good Pokemon. Just gonna go for that Mega Evolution and drop that Aura Sphere on the Caracosta. And uh, basically finish off the deal here. Sometimes they even have Quick Law. And they activate it just when you never expect them to do. I remember I had one time, like, I was facing, I believe, it was it was a very slow, oh yeah, it was a slow bro. And the thing had, like, Quick Claw, and it activated for, like, no joke, for, like, eight turns straight. The thing just kept on activating, and I was like, wow, are you serious? Yes, uh, the game was serious. So, Battle Mason doesn't play games with you. You shouldn't play games with Battle Mason, so I'm actually going to go for the Vacuum Wave. And uh, take down this Lucario, not taking any chances of this thing being Choice Scarfed or something like that. So I'm actually just going to take him down immediately. So this is important, so remember it. Don't judge a bug by its cover. Why not? Because you're fat? Yeah, you look like Snorlax, dude. Oh, by the way, no offense to any fat people watching my videos. Really, I love all kinds of people. I'm just making a joke out of this freaking uh, non-existent comic character, okay? Alright, so number 10. After this number, I am interrupting, and I'm going to be saving the game, and that's going to be the end of this episode, which actually took, like, almost 25 minutes to record. Wow, that actually takes a lot of time, If I, even if I turn off the animation, which is insane. So, we're going to be battling a Tail Girl, and she's going to bring out a x -Plowed. And uh, these things are, like I said, very scary. They have access to, like, Boom Burst, so... Just make sure you defeat them as fast as you possibly can. I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz there. And that is uh, actually going to take down the x which is great. And, um, yeah, he's going to bring out Espion now, which is very fast. I think that thing is even faster than the uh, than Ace. So, I'm just going to go for the U-turn, really. I'm going to go for the super effective damage. He's going to go for the John, which is great. So, apparently, I won't be put to sleep. And he has the Focus Sash. Okay, so that's the first time, though. That in this series you get to see a Pokemon with Focus Sash. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go out into Lucario. The shiny Lucario. I'm just gonna go for the uh, Mega Evolution straight of the bat. And I'm just gonna hit this Espion with a Vacuum Wave. Which, in fact, is a priority move in case you guys didn't know. Alright, Lucario, Mega Lucario looks so freaking amazing, seriously. In the shiny form, it's all golden. It's actually going to go for the prote Why are you wasting my time? Why are you doing that? I hate that kind of trainers. They know they're going to lose their Pokemon. The computer knows a fucking wave is coming because I just press the button and they go for the protect. Why? Why would you do that? So in comes Mushar. Oh my god. This thing is nightmares. Seriously, guys. If you ever get to face one of these things, use whatever means to take it down. Do not set up, just attack. Just kill the thing. 
it is so freaking annoying all right so hypnosis there goes it's actually starting it's gonna be a really big pain to take down i'm gonna stay in and it's actually going to go for what dream eater are you serious it's okay screw this i'm switching back into ace and uh i think that the opposition here the machine is gonna be going for another dream eater and that's not gonna affect ace all right perfect and now she will try to go for the hypnosis so i'm gonna u-turn away and go back into uh lucario which is gonna be great and then i'm just gonna repeat the same process so she won't like half a chance to put something else to sleep and by the way i have chest of berry on my suicune so all right so in comes the shiny lucario he's gonna go for this hypnosis just like i predicted i am predicting the computer right now which is <laughs> it's funny Okay, so I'm switching back into Darmanitan because, like I said, I don't want um, this thing dealing damage anymore. And it is really a pain. It does not die that easy. Just like you saw, Mega Lucario goes for the Flash Cannon and still doesn't even do half. So I'm just going to go for the U-turn here, defeat the Musharna to seal this episode of Smash the Mason. If you guys enjoy this, once again, by all means, drop a like on this video. It shows me how much you guys care. And if you guys want me to use a specific overpowered Pokemon only, drop it down in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. So other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will be talking to you guys later and um, have a nice day. Adiós.